All right, on to faces. Let me take that off. All right, come here, Shadow. Move your boot. There we go. All right. I've already done his back. I like a little bit longer on the back. Now I'm going to do his face. All right, so ears. His ear starts right here. That's the top of his ear, which is right there even with his eye, which is exactly where it's supposed to be. All right, what I want to do is shade the top third of his ear about level to his jawline right there. All right, so first I'm going to clean up his jaw so I can actually see it. I like to take my thumb and stretch their bottom lip so I can clean out this area really good because they tend to get a lot of hair and food and gunk right there. And I go against the way the hair grows right there because I want it nice and short. Hey, the shadow is not my usual demo dog. He's never been recorded before, so he might be a little camera shy. He's very easily distracted and there's something going on upstairs, so he's very jumpy. But this will be, you know, good to show you because most likely your dog's probably going to be easily distracted at home too. So, real life, isn't it, bud? Yes. All right, again, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If you can't see it, scoop out that lip real good. We call that the flu. All right. Now, when you're doing the face, always go away from the eyes. So get right up against his eye and come forward. I'm not doing anything special with his face. I'm just clipping all this off. He's got a really nice face. But we don't want all the mustache, do we? No. All right. Corner of the eye, scoop forward. And I'm actually going to leave this right here in the middle of his eyes because he's a little bit long right here. And if I take that out, it's going to make his nose look even longer. And I don't want to do that. I want to minimize his face if I can. He has a little bit of an English looking face more than a, an American. No, I know. Very close cousin, isn't it? No, I know. You've got a little bit more English to you. Alright. No. I don't do the eyelashes, especially on boys. I'm going to just take those off. Now, cockers are supposed to have a nice, or American cockers are supposed to have a nice round head. So he's got, you know, a good bit of hair up here to kind of make his head a little bit more round because he's kind of flat on top. So I'm going to come right here to where his ear is and I'm going to take all this off. And I'm using a short blade. This is probably a number 10 or a number 15, the same thing you would use on their private areas. And I'm going to stop right here at the back of the skull. And I'll show you how to blend that in a little later. But for right now, it's going to look a little funny. ear time. No. I'm going to come underneath his ear first. And all this hair here, I'm going to just clip that as short as the rest of his face. All that 
stops airflow from getting into the ear canal and that will cause ear infections. You want as much air into that ear as possible. Every time he walks, his ears should flatten and that should pump air into his ear canal. Right. I'm gonna hold your face and I'm gonna try to do this a little awkwardly. Get all this. There's a little curl where the face hair starts growing into the neck hair. So I'm not gonna go past that curl. I'm just gonna go from the back of his ear down to his throat latch. And you'll be able to feel that little area where his like Adam's apple kind of thing is. I don't know if that's what you call it in a dog, but it's what I call it. So I don't know if you can see that. He's so black. But now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Again, I'm not taking that curl out. I am gonna take all this hair underneath his ear. Nice and short. I know, you see mom over there. Right. Now, find the back of the ear. I can come forward. And I'm gonna do the top of the ear for right now. I'll show you why. The back of the ear right here, there is a little flap of skin on the inside. I do not wanna cut past that. I just wanna cut hold up all your ear here all right so here's the little flap this is very easy to cut you don't want to cut past that they can't see you if you turn your head no Shadow's pretty young. He's just over a year old, so he's still a baby. Aren't you? Yeah. He's not new to grooming, but they're just like toddlers. They have short attention spans. And if your dog starts getting too distracted, by all means, put them down, take a break come back to it later you know you don't want to get them so worked up over grooming that you can't touch them he had a nice long break after his bath and his blow dry so now it's time to work isn't it all right when you do the ear go towards the center always keep the blade nice and flat and hold the ear down. Stop it. You wanna flatten out the ear as much as you can because you don't wanna catch the edges of the ear with the blade. There you go. Nice, beautiful ear. Brush that out really good because he gets yucky stuff in his ears, don't you? You stop it. I know mom's in the floor, isn't she? She's cleaning, she's busy. You leave her alone. And somebody asked about hair inside the ear. Um, Cocker Spaniels are not supposed to have any hair inside their ear canal. If they do, they probably have, you know, maybe a little poodle or something mixed in with them somewhere along the lines because 
you really aren't supposed to have any hair inside the ear canal. So a good short blade should be all you need to clean that hair out. Um, if they have hair growing inside their ear, um, he doesn't because he doesn't, his ears are what they're supposed to be. Um, but I have seen copper spaniels that do have hair inside their ear canal. Um, I don't have any ear powder. You can use ear powder to kind of pull that out. Um, but I usually don't like to do that. I feel like it irritates the ear canal. Um, I just take a short blade to them unless they really, really need it. So that's just my personal opinion. That's very controversial subject among groomers and vets. So I feel like do no harm first and then, you know, if they really need it plucked, then I'll do it, but plucking the hair, I feel like, opens up the ear to infections. And there, there are many different opinions out there, that's just mine. I had um, an elderly poodle that I, I never pulled his ear hair out and he did just fine. He never had an ear infection. So, Will you stop. Okay. <laughs> always do the same thing on one side that you do on the other because you want them to match obviously all right Let's see if we can clean it ah, ah, ah. what I say no she's busy Leave her alone. Okay. Now, these are thinning shears. I'm called the magic eraser of groomers. We're just gonna take off a few snips to make that short hair match the longer hair. You're not going to cut all of it. You're just going to come in and take a little bit and pull out. So it's like a touch and go. Touch and go. Right. Same thing with the top of the head. I'm going to just touch and go. Make sure you brush as you go along because you want to be able to see how much progress you've made because you see how much hair that's pulled out. You don't want to end up with a big bald spot somewhere. And different scissors are going to take different amounts of hair out with each snip. So you have to play with them and see how aggressive they are with the hair. Brush again. Brush and brush and brush some more. I don't want that piece of hair that's sticking straight out of your head. You, buddy. He's a pretty boy, but he's all groomed. Yes, he is. Did we get your? No, I did not. Yeah. Nope. The door opened. Dog. again. He's just a baby. And I actually 
actually love his ears. They're beautiful. Um, eh, eh, eh. Stop it. You are going to get in trouble, sir. Can you sit down? Sit. Sit. Thank you. too much. I'm going to have to adjust it. A little bit taller than little Ronnie Roo Roo. Yes, I'm scissoring your face. Maybe you should pay attention to me. Yes, you should. <laughs> Silly bully. Alright. Are you going to let me cut your ear? Inside and out, because he's got lots of hair on the inside too. Some cockers shed really bad on their ears, so I will show you how to remove some of that extra hair if they have lots of coat in their ears. Cockers are supposed to be moderate shedders. Don't ever let anybody tell you differently. Yes, they shed. This is an undercoat rake. What I'm going to do is slowly pull through the coat. Don't rip really fast. Slow. Don't get impatient. Because these are blades and you don't want to cut the hair. You just want to pull out the dead hair. And it just removes all that dead stuff. Why I should bring you outside? Okay. In different lines, I see little hairs sticking out. All right, I'm gonna use my straight scissor to just. I'm probably gonna trim a good bit of his ears off because they're getting very long. He's getting water all over the house, aren't you, sir? Should be about even with his shoulder line. So there's his shoulder. That's a good way to do it because if you line it up with their body, you'll be able to match it on the other side without having to go, oh, one side's longer than the other. Then you end up with really short ears because you keep having to trim more to match them. You would assume that both of his shoulders would be even. If they're not, you might have a slight issue, but. You have a knot, sir. All right. I don't have to get my dematting tool out really quickly. This you want to be very careful with because not only can you cut yourself with this, but you don't want to cut the dog. You go in and you pull out and away. And go slowly so you don't hurt the dog. You just work a little bit at a time, kind of like a saw. Yes, it cuts the hair, which means it's going to damage the hair, which means the next time it's going to be easier to mat. So you want to keep up on the brushing as much as you can.
No, 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 I'm so sweet. I'm so sweet. Yes, you is. Yes, you are. Can I see your ears? We're almost done brushing. There we go. Now we gotta brush the inside. Yeah. Him's being so sweet. But Him's giving that. lots of kisses, Mom. Oh, giving away his kisses. He's giving away all of his kisses. He's not gonna have any left for you. <gasps> Shut up. Don't give all away your kisses. <laughs> you know they're my kisses. Don't hand them over. No, they're my kisses. All the kisses belong to Auntie. I told you he cuddled with me yesterday, right? Yeah. We fell asleep together. Take me shadow at him. If you do, we go sleep together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. almost forgot. On cocker spaniels, they have a little flap of skin on their ear that folds out and it frames their face ever so nicely. So you want to make sure you trim past that point. It brings out the expression in their face. No, you give me all your kisses. Give me all the kisses. I know. All right. What? What? You want to take a break? Yes, you want to take a break. Okay. Let's let him take a break. All he really needs left is his feet. And I can trim his legs a little bit more if you want me to. I'm going to clean up a little bit first. Okay. Um. Shake off a little bit. Shake, shake. There we go. Shake off. There we go. There you go, good boy. Not through the hair. That defeats the purpose of shaking. 